Hit when the I do. Flex tape. Stops leaks fast, even works underwater. Flex tape. The only tape you'll ever need. This video is not intended for minors. This video is intended for adults 18 and above. Anything you see in this video, do not attempt or do not try at home without adult supervision if you are under the age of 18. If you're over the age of 18, still use caution and common sense. Thank you. see in this video are not sponsored. They are products that I've bought myself and used and found them to be likable. So I'm sharing them with you in case you want to buy the product and use it yourself. Thank you. Okay, go. This Wednesday's review is going to be about this right here. This is a wood burner. What a? Wood burning tool. Okay. You can do uh, any kind of wood burning you want. You can wood burn a flower. You can wood burn a dog, cat, nature scenery, or anything you want. For this wood burner, you get this box, <coughs> this is the power supply, this cable, which screws into here, and has your heating element to burn with. It's already hot. Not hot, it's not on. Well, you didn't own it. It comes with all these extra tips. You didn't own it? All these extra tips. With all these tips, you can do different things, different shapes, different shadings. You put a tip on, you take this screwdriver, or any screwdriver that'll fit in here, but this time with it. You unscrew these, <coughs> you take this out. Put the desired tip that you want back in here and then screw these back. But I'm going to use this tip. You turn it on by pushing this on button. The red light indicates that it is on. This here is the power level meter. Once you click this and it comes on, it controls the power. And you can see where as you turn this dial it moves and the tip is already smoking. If you turn the tip of this red it really doesn't matter but you wouldn't want to maintain this in a red position because it means that the tip is a little bit too hot. Don't burn me. Yeah it's red already it's hot. While I'm burning which I'll be burning upside down I'm not doing a masterpiece of art I'm just showing off the wood burner. And this wood actually is not a very desirable piece with the holes in it because this came from my drill press. But it will serve the purpose because I couldn't find a piece of wood that would uh, that was nice to use because I just don't have a piece right now. What are you making? Are you You can burn a flower, which I'll show you. Like I say, these are not masterpieces of art. I'm just showing you the wood burner. I'm also going to be burning this upside down. So that is one of the reasons I chose a flower. But if you're not getting the burn pattern you want, you're either moving this too fast or you need to turn up the heat. And I'm just going to make these petals all kind of different sizes. I'm not even going to maintain a certain size. I'm just going to make these just all out. And then you can, and remember, you also have all of these tips over here. So I'm using just this one tip. So the desired effect of this flower, say I want to make smaller dots or things in here, I would actually want to switch to something like this but I'm not going to switch because it's just a demonstration and these things burn just like this one but this is burn different so you can put your designs in here now I'm burning on a piece of soft 
pine. <clears throat> now pine is good to wood burn in. It's so like you're cooking already. Pine is good to wood burn in because it smells good for one thing. But you also have to remember that pine has no tannin. So some parts of this is going to be actually be a little bit slicker than other parts. Like this part here and it will burn differently. It's darker and lighter. So when you burn, like I said, you want to switch your tips, which I'm not doing. And then you want to put your little designs in here. You want to shade your areas like this. This tool actually I'm using now is actually good for shading when you're wood burning. And remember when you're wood burning, don't think about color. Think about <laughs> shading and contrast because this color. thing, this thing is, like I said, this thing is not coloring nothing. It's like a black and white image. So think about where your contrast will lie on your plant or whatever it is that you're doing where the shadows will lie if the sun is hitting it from a certain direction. Now wood burning can be very rewarding. But if you get a wood burner that kind of looks like a soldering iron more or less than anything else, you could you could have it won't burn like this, it won't burn good at all. And you want one you want a wood burner. When you want a wood burner, you want one like this where you can control the heat, control the temperature. I always feel your cord, because even your cord is gonna get hot. And uh, sometimes if you wood burn for a long period of time, you want to let it cool down a little bit. You're off it. Yeah, turn it off and let it cool down a little bit. And don't, don't turn it up so high, because you'll find out, like right now, I need to actually turn it up a little bit, because I'm hitting the, this wood actually has a finish on it, so that's why it's burning like this also. So you want to put your uh, flower Put your designs in your flower. Make sure your where your leaves are located. And Interesting. So, and the shading on this one is coming from this direction, so you want to maintain your shading nice in the video. proper direction. <laughs> and we'll You're so talented. More. We'll put one more on here. Are you? Better believe it, baby. <laughs> Put it on here because I don't sit around and do jack. <laughs> I'm not a lazy son of a blankety blank that does nothing. I actually like learning and doing things. It, you call that one talent, even how much you try to draw something like I do, and I can't do it, it means you ain't got no talent. And anyway, like that. I actually look like, flower look like wearing a high not heel. That. Look like a high heel. <laughs> no high heel no more. See, so a wood burner like this, you've got so many more advantages to a wood burner any other way from any other kind of wood burner. And you're, you're not just, I mean, you're not just prone to drawing flowers. Isn't draw. that beautiful, guys? You can draw anything you want. Now, I'm trying to draw something a little more complicated, but it's upside down. So if something goes wrong, just deal with it because this thing is upside down but that's the cowardly dog what's his name what's his name now? and here we go sometimes you have to turn like this to get your desired line what's his name that coward dog that's a coward dog it's a mosquitoes and then you've got your put some flat wing lines on here. Buzz. It's buzzing. Put some wing lines in here. What's that a mosquito? Huh? Or a bee? What is that? It's a lightning bug. Huh? Lightning bug. A lightning bug. And then you could shade your lightning firefly. bug. Firefly. Yeah, firefly. You can shade him any way you want, any direction you want. See, so you're not limited to anything you draw. And the good thing about wood burning, and the good thing about wood burning is if 
you don't want to freehand your wood burning. Well, you usually want to draw it with a pencil first because if you mess up, there's no there's no eraser on this thing. So if you mess up, you messed up. So you always want to draw it what you're drawing with a pencil first, and then go over it with a wood burner. And the good part about it is that you can even get templates off of the internet of, of drawings that are already on the anything to one on the internet. It's a black and white drawing. And you can put it on your piece of wood and then you can put carbon paper under it and then trace over it and then go over your carbon lines and use a very thin pencil lid so it won't be, you don't want a thick line when you're wood burning anyway. You can do it in business on this one too, right? Sell this. Yeah, you could. A lot of people sell stuff like this. How much you sell this flower? flower it's according to how big it is but if it's that size and it's cut out and framed and it is uh, presented properly it can go for around fifteen dollars how about that I don't know what's the that firefly <laughs> firefly look like mosquito little firefly if he's done up properly you can go for around ten dollars really that's how much you sell this money that's a good money but uh, if you want something to do and you're just tired of sitting around doing nothing just sitting in front of a computer monitor wasting your life away and one day you look in the mirror and you're no longer that young person you used to be you're an old burnout person with bags under your eyes and <laughs> wrinkly and then you, then you think you like and subscribe. then you think what have I done with my life sit around nothing just sit around and did nothing. You really gave nothing to this world. You just took from it and gave nothing back. So why not learn something and give something back to the world? Don't just exist and then die. <laughs> Do something. Be somebody. Create. Don't just be in the way of other people who are creating. Create yourself. Do things. There's so it's many things that there's so many things out there that you can do: wood burning, sculpting, drawing, painting, felt, felt work, anything. There's so much to do: woodwork, welding. I mean, there's so much to do. So why do nothing? So this concludes this week's review of wood burning. So I hope this helped you, and I hope you get one of these. This here costs. I think 3,000 plus pesos. Lazada.com. Same place. Very good, very nice. And very location. So I'll see you next time. But I'll see you next time when I do another Wednesday review. So, so long. Until next time. Bye bye. But, if anyone would like to sponsor my channel, I would gladly accept their sponsorship. And I would gladly do a review on any product or item that, they, that is sent to me. Again, thank you very much for watching the channel.